Hemant Kumar is a common name in India and that there was a very popular singer by that name in the 50s. Then there was another Bollywood actress in the 70s by the name Hema Malini. But if you try to find out the origin of this name Hemant, you will be disappointed because its origin lies beyond the confines of India. Now here's the story. After the great flood of Noah, the Manu, who is Noah, traveled around the world distributing different lands to his descendants. In that manner, he had appointed Japheth's son, Comorus Gallus, to rule Italy. Meanwhile, one of his sons, Ham, known as Kamdev in Indian mythology, was in Egypt along with his son, Kashyap, who was the ruler of Egypt. Meanwhile, patriarchs such as Noah, Shem, Ham and Japheth did not have any land of their own because their job is to have an oversight of their children's lands and settle any disputes that may arise. By the way, Libya, the adjacent land to Egypt, was ruled by one of the great grandsons of Ham named Hammond. Noah had married off one of his daughters born after the flood by the name Rhea to Hammond. Oh, by the way, she is the one whom the Indians call Rati Devi. At this time, Comorus Gallus, the king of Italy, passed away. Kamdev the Ham, who didn't have a land on his own, thought it was the best time to seize the land of Italy and make it his own, and he made the move. It was the time when the water nymph Inanna from Lucifer's Abyss, known as Kali in India, had killed Nimrod, who was Shiva in the ancient Assyrian city of Nineveh, and took over his throne as Queen Semiramis. Now, Nimrod, being the son of Ham's son Kush, was called Bacchus, and he was the most popular person of the world at that time. So his grandpa Ham mourned Nimrod's death while he was in Italy. That is the bacchanalia both the historians as well as the common people are confused about. Well, it was wild with all its drinking and raving which caused the moral corruption of the youth. Noah was dead against it. He drove Ham out of Italy with the help of Hammond, the king of Libya, and Ham fled to Sicily. Even before all this, King Hammond had been having an illicit relationship with an Arabian woman named Almanthea, which led to the birth of a son who was Dionysus. When Rhea came to know about it, she was furious. She left Hammond and went to Kamdev, who was in Sicily, to complain about that matter. There, Kamdev made Rhea his wife. Soon after, Kamdev and Rhea formed a fleet and attacked Hammond, the king of Libya. Hammond fled to Crete, and yet Ham pursued him and killed him. Later, when Dionysus grew up, he wanted to avenge his father's death by killing Ham, the Kamdev. He put together an army and attacked Egypt. Meanwhile, Kamdev and Kashyap managed to flee. However, Kamdev and Rati's infant son was captured and held back by Dionysus. Later, Dionysus developed a liking to that little boy and started treating him like his own son. It is him who grew up to become the Osiris of the Egyptians, Mizraim of the Bible, Zeus of the Greeks and the Indra of the Indians. Coming back to our story, after escaping, Kashyap went to the Near East and he established a city named Kish. And Kamdev arrived in South India where he introduced customs like lover's fist called Kaman Vira and Tamils would attest to that. Kama Sutra also bears his name and we also understand that later 
he tried to take away the kingdom of Bharat from his hands. Meanwhile, Noah passed away. Dionysus saw the developments. He knew that Shem the Bharat belonged to Noah's faction, just as his father Hammond. So he gathered a huge army and came to India in order to finish off his father's killer, Ham the Kamdev, as well as to help Bharat. Ham got the scent of it and he left Bharat alone and he fled to the mountainous region of Bactria along with his wives Rati and Preeti. Even though Dionysus could not kill his father's murderer Ham, Dionysus was lauded by the Indians for saving their nation. He being the heroic son of Hammond, they hailed him as Hemant Kumar, meaning the son of Hammond. Sounds like a good story, doesn't it? No, it is not. It is history. It all happened around 2900 BC. There is also a grand Greek epic called Dionysiaca, which is available online, which explains the Dionysus attack on India. Thanks for watching.